conservation area between London and Toronto and today we're gonna go find our place not your place we're gonna go find our place let's go find some caches kind of funny we had a big melt here in Ontario the temperature went way up all the snow that we had melted and the only snow that we have now here is on the trail right where we're trying to walk wouldn't that figure it's making for a little bit of a slippery experience but haven't fallen yet yet <laughs> I've never been lucky enough to see a running strawberry bush. I think they run too fast. So today we're joined with our, what I call our muggle daughter. Although she does actually have a caching name, it's Ellie Cat 21 And we're out here to uh, check out a few caches and basically just go for a really nice in the, holy cow, that's bright and sunny. In the bright sunny day, we're up in the double digits. It's not 75 degrees Georgia temperature, but we're here to look at some cool spots. So I'm shooting uh, my video for the vlog, and uh, I got muggled. And what, your, what is your name? <laughs> Rob. Rob, and what's your geocaching name? Do you remember? Oh, um... The, a, hills, a, the hills were here. The hills were here. So yes. a seldom geocacher just starting. Maybe I can get him to do some more. Maybe. So I'm going to give you a Cash Canada button. Right on. Thank you. So you look that up on YouTube. Go to Cash Canada. Just type in Cash Canada on YouTube and you'll see London Westy, Lyric Glass, and our daughter Ellie Cat 21. She's in. This will be her second video. Right on. So uh, I'll yeah. do that. Thanks. Cash on. Nice Appreciate to meet it. you. You too. I've lived near this site, I'm about an hour and a half away, and I have never been here to see this waterfall. That's what geocaching does to you, it brings you to these amazing places. I don't know why I've never been here, I just never knew about it. But now I'm here, this is incredible, I'm hoping you're enjoying this. And I have to remember to actually get the geocaches. There are several, and uh, this is one of them, this is an earth cache, and just downstream is the virtual, and that's what we're after. We got the, uh, the waterfall earth cache. We're on our way to the virtual, which is uh, what I'd like to get. But uh, between us and the virtual is a traditional cache. So we're gonna see if we can find that one. And I'm gonna try not to flip on my face over the rocks and logs, <laughs> <laughs> which is about to happen if I keep video. I see some swag on the ground. Oh. See it? Alley Cat 21 makes the find. Traditional cache of the day. See a nice little swag. What's in there? Anything? Anything? There we go. We're all signed up. Back in the cache. Get it all sealed up, put away. like the hint says, under a rock ledge. Ish. Look mom, I'm in a pothole. Oh really, this, this is a cool pothole. And look, it's got beans. No, oh, look, it's got beans. B-E-A-N-S, beans. Told you it's got beans. 
During the period of glacial retreat, some 12,000 to 14,000 years ago, a large volume of water flowed through this area. The pothole seen here was worn in the bedrock by loose stones being spun around by the force of water flowing over the escarpment at this point. As the volume of melting water decreased, the stream was reduced to its present location. Uh, this is as good a place as any to say uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to the video if you liked it. And uh, come back and watch us again on Cache Canada. Where will geocaching take you? Cache Canada? Cache the USA? Cache in your backyard. Wherever it does. Just get out there and cache. Cache in a pothole. Cache in a pothole. There you go. It's a virtual cache in a pothole. Thanks, Lyric Glass. Hey, we'll see you again.